Hi, happy Friday. Friday is the day ruled by Venus. And so um, Venus is the energy of abundance. Not only financial, of um, the intimate abundance, but financial abundance, abundance in every aspect. And so Friday is ruled by Venus. And Venus is making a transit through Leo, um, if I'm correct. Check, um, check Lisa Sophia's, because she posted something just recently about that. So this energy is going to be fiery, but really Venus being the ruler of Libra and Taurus is really this sensual energy. How can you bring this sensuality and abundance into the human form. And now with Neptune moving into retrograde, this is like dream, a bigger dream. Dream a phenomenal dream because what we dream, we are co-creating here in existence. And so just feel into that energy for yourself today. Just feel what that means for you in your perception of what I just said. And so the Ascended Masters that showed up for me today are Horus. And whenever Horus shows up, I feel like this is my child. Horus is my son. It's all the collective consciousness and Horus is the all-seeing eye of consciousness. And so he shows up for two reasons. One, to show me that I am seeing things in unwavering clarity so he's saying yes you're seeing it right your perception is right and then also telling me I'm on the right path because my path and purpose literally is to heal the frequency of divine union to birth the awakening of the entire collective and so it's the frequency of sacred union that is um, not right right now that is out of harmony and so we are in the process of healing that so how isis and osiris birthed horus it is the same energy divine feminine is merging with divine masculine to birth the conscious awakening of the collective and so haniel showed up for me again and so um when things tend to show up again, 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 and again, it's a little insane, but I'm okay with that. But I'm definitely going to dig more because now we're moving into the weekend and I have my time back. And um, so I will be moving into that because she keeps showing up for a reason and Lakshmi showing up makes me happy. This means prosperity. And for Lakshmi to show up on a Venus day, like I'm all about the abundance and I'm all about the moving into the feminine re receptivity of this. So it's a gift, like a true gift. And so perception, seeing beyond the veil, this is really huge that this showed up for me today because of that Neptune energy that I talked about, like dreaming the bigger dream. And I have been receiving these messages that my perception is actually becoming clearer through the dream. And um, so that says seeing beyond the veil of perception. Have faith in your dreams. This is that Neptune energy. Like this is really powerful that these are showing up as messages in today's spread because I really was connecting with that Neptune energy um, this morning in my waking meditation. Like, okay, what, how can I connect with this energy, this new energy that we're moving into? And then all paths lead home. And I love this because this also talks about my perception, that my perception is clear and all of them are leading to the big dream. And so all of our dreams will be connected in this Mercury, I mean, I'm sorry, Neptune retrograde. All of our dreams will become the collective dream. How can you dream the biggest dream that you can ever imagine because it's still not gonna be big enough because all 
possibilities are infinite. Infinite means beyond measure. Infinite means unfathomable. So you will never, ever, ever be able to conceive what is possible. So you're not ever dreaming big enough. So dream bigger, dream grander, do it. So the sacred geometry that showed up for me today is Vitruvius Man. He talks about the perception, seeing the harmony in all things. And you know, this is Leonardo da Vinci's drawing. And um, they believed that this drawing actually housed the wisdom of all sacred geometry. And sacred geometry, they're like keys of wisdom. They're like the cosmic volumes, right? Like I talk about the platonic solids having very specific wisdom. And so this talks about the perception of harmony. So I'm all about this today, man. This spread is really good. And then this, this is either twisting the knife or this is a message of good to come. But whenever I get these things, I'm always like, all right, okay, I'm receiving. I'm not going to shun this. I'm not going to doubt it. I am choosing this for Sherry and for Sherry's experience. So bring this motherfucking on already. <laughs> Anyhow. And Amethyst showed up as my ally today. Amethyst to me is like the jack of all trades when it comes to crystals. And I forgot to bring some amethyst. Let me get some of my amethyst to show you because I got some amazing pieces. I have more amethyst than any other crystals. Somebody. I'm still singing so you can hear me. I'm like really close. I got a lot of amethyst right here that I want to share. You're going to be like, oh my God, this is overwhelming. <laughs> This is an amethyst spirit cactus. Spirit cactuses are like a library where it has one big cathedral and all these little babies growing off of it, but that's how it grows. Isn't that beautiful? This is called a super seven. Super seven has seven different types of crystals in it, but its main is amethyst. It's beautiful. This is an amethyst chevron, but carved into a sphere. Isn't that beautiful? The chevron, of course, is that. I like displaying it like that because it almost looks like either a volcano or a sunrise. It's amazing. And I really love this Super 7 because it has this amazing, this is like natural. Doesn't that look like a cathedral door? It's just freaking beautiful. Mother Nature is so phenomenal. There. Where you could see it literally. Look at that. This is all amethyst. Where did I just put that? Oh, here it is. This is a Vera Cruz. This was gifted by my beautiful soul sister, Becca. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. These are natural points. It's freaking phenomenal. Okay, and this is called an celestial amethyst. Look at that. I'm not a hoarder. I am a rescuer of crystals. <laughs> Anyhow, Amethyst showed up for divine connection. And it literally says basically what my spread said yesterday, that spirit has a message for me. And this message will be life altering. So, well, thank you, Miss Thang, saying you, you love my crystal. So, yes, because crystals are living things. Some people rescue chihuahuas. I rescue crystals. And, um, right, Diana says you can never have too many crystals. I feel the same way. And, yes, Amanda, I know you love yourself some crystals, so don't be jealous. I'll let you hold them when you come. So, um, then, the piece de resistance for today's spread is the right choice and the right choice 
talks about moving into my highest and letting go of fear of becoming so powerful that I won't know what to do with myself. No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> it's just like saying that I am completely aligned. And I love that because it talks about um, I, my discernment is very keen and on point right now. So when something doesn't feel right, it's not right. That I, that I am absolutely on point about that. And that not every sea contains pearls. I love that. Not every sea contains pearls. And so I don't need to be swimming in some people's depths just because I see the light in them. I literally just shared a meme this morning too. So that was funny that this showed up. Talking about... Um, uh, Phoenix Rising, beautiful soul sister posted it, talking about it, but I see the light. And spirit guides are like, dumbass, um, even the fish see tasty morsel on a hook. So anyhow, it's about that, like really being comfortable with my discernment and that it's not judgment. The difference between discernment and judgment is that discernment comes from spirit judgment comes from ego and so i always use the example that was taught to me by a beautiful mentor he said like you're watching an orchestra and all of a sudden you hear the clarinet play off key and you're like wow that was off key i also observe that it's an observable fact and you're stating it but if you turn and said wow that clarinet is sucks that's judgment so that's the difference between discernment and judgment. So you can say someone's got really negative energy. That's not judgment. But if you say he's an asshole, that's judgment. So just be aware of that. But this, I like the fact that this is telling me that my discernment is keen because there are some things that I was feeling guilty about feeling. And so basically this card showed up to be like, nah, stop feeling guilty about that. So anyhow, I do have a session, so I have, I've got to go. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, please DM me or text me. Um, yes, Lorena says embracing your truth of who you are. Absolutely. So um, I got to head out, but I love you and thank you. And thank you for gifting me your most valuable commodity, your time and your energy. And please, I am sorry, sorry for any disharmony that I myself have created. Please forgive me. Thank you for this opportunity. I love you.